Hi everyone, this is Yubut and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a problem on our Hyundai i30 with 2010 models and the customer complaint is the steering is very stiff and he cannot start the engines there are a bunch of lights on the instrument panel dedicated to the EPS systems the handbrake as well as the batteries so let's give it a crank to see what happens As you can see, the problem is confirmed. We have no crank and it's very hard to steer. And one more thing, as you may notice, the gear light on the dashboard is sometimes when missing. With that being said, let's diagnose this car together. So we're gonna go ahead and diagnose this car by using G-Scan 2. <coughs> this is Hyundai and a i30 model which is 2010 which is manufactured dead and the engine is 1.6 gasoline injectors so we're having issues at the engines the transmissions and the power steering firstly is the engines let's check it Oh, as you can see, we cannot communicate with our engines. So next up is, let's check our transmissions. So, we also cannot communicate with our transmissions. And we're gonna check the power steering. Right, we still cannot connect with our power steering as well. So let's try to communicate with a non faulty system such as the brake. Oh, so obviously we connect to it. There's no DTC. Okay. And uh, this is the data list. So there is the all data list of these uh, ABS control module. So to sum up, we cannot communicate with our engines, transmission and power steering. Meanwhile, there's still connections with other systems and to figure out the reason why, let's take a look at the wiring diagram. Okay, so this is the wiring diagram where it demonstrates all the CAN bus communication system of this vehicle. Pay attention to the data link connector M10. It uses pin 3 for CAN high and pin 11 for CAN low. You can see they are connected to the pressure monitoring module, the instrument cluster and the EPS control module. And on the other hand, with the multi-purpose check connector E30, it also connects to the ECM, the Electronic Stability Program, which is the ESP, and the ABS through pin 9 and 17. As you already know, 
The CAN bus system has two 120 ohms resistor on each end to consume the energy that is left on the wire. This is the bottom end resistor which is located in the IP junction box and the top end resistor is situated inside the engine control module. With that being said, let's go ahead and measure the communication line of this CAN bus system. So I've already shown you the wiring diagram and to conclude the problem, we have to do some measurement. As I mentioned before, we're losing connection with the engines, the transmissions and the power steering. And to measure them, we have three options. We can either measure the resistance, the voltage or the signal. So I'm going to demonstrate all of them. Okay, so pay attention to my multimeters. I'll do a quick check on the battery to see if the multimeter is still working. Okay, there's 12 volts. Let's go ahead and measure the voltage of Ken High. And we're having 2.7 volts. Then Ken Low is 2.2 volts. And as you can see on the bottom left corner, that is our Ken bus waveform when it's working. And to recap, we've already shown you the wiring diagram and some measurement methods. We also have the correct poles and the voltage is within spec. So the question is, where's the malfunctions? In the next videos, ECU Boots will help you to find out. If you have any problems or misunderstanding, feel free to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. We really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.